This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway, supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza. Production services by Sidekick Media Services. And listeners like you supporting us at patreon.com slash awesomecast. I don't care, I love it. It's time to get geeky, get awesome. It is the awesome cast. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the Sorgatron Media Studios in Pittsburgh, PA. Ready for all your Pittsburgh geekiness for the week. We have with us, first of all, from Studio D, the Dutters, social media extraordinaire and apparently pinball wizard. <laughs> What's the opposite of a pinball wizard? That is I. <laughs> Good to see you again. It's so bad. You actually contributed to our party the other night. So, (laughs) (laughs) Uh, yes. Uh, Though we had a big Sorgatron Media uh, studio party for being here for four years and and, uh, uh, in in location and not in my basement by my laundry for, for as we were for so long. Uh, So that was that was a blast. Uh, That's actually should be in your video feeds. And oh wow, I got an email that's all in like Chinese. I need to read that later, or just straight delete it. Uh, but anyways, I did order something from China. Uh, but anyways, uh, but yeah, that's in your feeds. It's on. Uh, I put it in just uh, I think about every feed uh, that we have for at least the, the the close internal stuff. I figured some of that conversation did not need to be on fishing without bait because it's rather not mindful. Uh, but <laughs> <laughs> no. and there's a lot of butts, a lot of butts. Uh, but also with us, Crazy Krause is with us. And he's and he's back. He's back. He took his tiny plane back to Pittsburgh. Three weeks in a row I'm back. How Three about weeks that? in a row. But I'm, no, no, no. I mean, you're back back. You're in your office in McKee's Rocks. Oh, yes. That's I'm <laughs> back in home. Yes. You're in not Pittsburgh. in Virginia. I mean, that's, that's, that's what I'm saying. In the rocks. Yes. I'm back home. Yes. And it's wonderful. There is literally no place like home. So. Live from Studio K is Crazy yes, Krause. Right. There you go. Um, I, but no, good to see you back. You got your pops. You got your, you, like, I know, I know you got your, your Xbox rubbing it in, in the back, your elite, uh, and everything like that. I just like to put something back there. So there's something just you to know? fill the space, fill the space. I got a random cord over here because I got this camera going on and I haven't hit stuff yet. So I got my over the shoulder set up so I don't like bump into it anymore. But, uh, you know, if I want to show stuff off like we were doing, oh, wait, and we had an unboxing, uh, I tried something before the show. If you go to the stream, uh, it should be on the YouTube and the, uh, and the Twitter page, I'm sorry, the Facebook page. Uh, I did an unboxing of my Amazon, uh, Amazon day box. Cause I just order things and I'm, I, I don't want them to come every day. So I put them in the box. If it's nothing vital, and I forget what I order through the week. So we had a surprise to me unboxing. And we're like, oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah, that's right. But hopefully hopefully, um, hopefully, a, a trial run for a special uh, visit I, that Katie turned me on to that I want to get to sometime. Hopefully, hopefully talk, to, talk about on the show. I don't know. Did you have it in the notes, this, this uh, Amazon thing? 
No, I did not. Okay, let's keep we it. Let's, had a personal experience let, yet. Yeah, let's wait till we get down there and see how it goes. But we got we have something cool <laughs> yeah. in Pittsburgh that I think everybody's going to want to do after we we talk about it. So, um, and it may be, mind you, it, it, it's, it, it may be better than thrift shopping. Uh, anyways, okay, let's get into it. This is the Awesome Cast. Check out everything at awesomecast.com, awesomecast at sorgatronmedia.com for any comments and advertising opportunities. Uh, tweet us at Awesome Cast. Facebook is a, a Facebook page and a group for the Awesome Cast. Uh, join the group. We have a lot of stories throughout the week that you guys can participate or let us know about your scooter like Brian Crawford did. We'll talk about some scooters later in the show. And also, please subscribe and rate us on your favorite podcast platform, especially that iTunes, not iTunes, po Apple Podcasts. Excuse me. What era am I in? We've been doing it so long. We've been through all the iterations, haven't we? Um, and also, uh, uh, we are li live every Tuesday night on s at 7 p.m. Eastern time on our uh, Awesome Cast Facebook, Awesome Cast uh, YouTube page, and also on the Sorgatron Media Twitch page. Yeah, whichever is more convenient for you to take part in the show. Uh, we appreciate uh, however that is. Make sure you like, share, uh, whatever you do with that. And also, we're on the Sorgatron Media Master Feed for the this podcast along with a bunch of other ones so please go check that out as well um and thank you to our patreon supporters at patreon.com slash awesome cast i'm going to talk about a dog park on this week's patreon exclusive pre-show and uh what else did i talk about kraus i think i think it was just we we're talking more about the the, the box the, the unboxing situation didn't we yeah it was so, more the unboxing and then the dog park and then the dog park and we talked about apple tags find out all the places i put my apple tags i don't know if i should put that out there but i don't know yeah Maybe, really well, i don't i don't know well if they're protected i'll know so uh yeah. anyways uh so <laughs> there's <laughs> there's at least like a package and a half of air tags in this room <laughs> so That's awesome. I can tell you that right now. Um, but anyways, I've low jacked everything. It's, I'm just all in for this kind of stuff. Um, but thank you to our Patreon supporters, uh, of course, uh, over at the uh, Coffee Club level, our friends Matt Weller, John DeGore, John Carmen, Cynthia Klosky, and Scott, Scott McTaggart of the Pitchworks Podcast, and Mike Pound, your Uncle Crappy. Our friends at the Fan of the Show level, Michael Fedor, PJsMuseums.org, uh, Professor Buzzkill, and Dave Ponder of the iPhoneography Podcast. Uh, there's, there's at least, what, what there's like two or three podcasts represented there so that's that's fantastic that you're, you're supporting other podcasty things as well so um but you guys can support the show again at patreon.com slash awesome if you, you get any entertainment get any value out of it we do appreciate uh your helping keep the the, the server up the lights on it does help uh, uh take care of things around here so just looking up my awesome thing of the week again because it changed at the last minute. So we will go while I'm preparing this. Let's go to Katie's awesome thing of the week. I wake up to text messages of pictures of a Ninja Turtles pinball machine. Like you, <laughs> I, listen, I, I have a late wake up. I, I'm up until two in the morning. I, my wake up time is 10 a.m. And by then, Katie is already doing rounds of pinball apparently up in Lawrenceville. <laughs> the thing I do no. Um, so my friend Fred, uh, if you remember Replay FX, um, that's how we met Fred. I think he's been on um, at least I think one of our podcasts, one yeah. of your family of podcasts. Oh no, we, yeah, we've we've done an interview with him talking about Replay. He's been on once or twice. It might have been in the studio as well. Now I think about it. So, um, but yeah, anyways, he's um. So we're buddies, and uh, we've been wanting to. I've been wanting to go down to Kickback, um, which is down in Lawrenceville. Uh, because they have a Mandalorian mm -hmm. pinball machine, and mm -hmm. I have been dying to play it. I've seen pictures. It looks great. It's super cool. And uh, so, like, the schedules worked out, and we went down, and it was so much fun. Like, I the, the de I really enjoyed the details in the, the Mandalorian game. It was, you know, sound, music from the, the show. There was a lot of Boba Fett video on the little screen, and it, it was great. Um, I really stunk at that game, though. <laughs> and then there was a Ninja Turtle game, which yeah. was an absolute blast uh, pinball game. That was so much fun. And it's like the voices throw you because the voices are not great mm -hmm. in this particular game. But uh, like the graphics are fun. And like the you go to the foot, so you get to see the foot soldiers um, serving you pizza. And you're like, something is wrong. And then, you know, that whole, you know, there's a whole bunch of stuff that happened. I did do better with that game. And there's also a, you know, if Chilla was here, he'd love it. There's an Iron Man game. Mm. There was also an Avengers game, which yes. was a lot of fun. And a lot happening in that game. It's it's 
it's a lot of babbling. Uh, the Batman game was also it's like the old old school Batman. Yeah, it's a sixties Batman. Adam West, uh, Burt Ward, Batman, and Robin there. Mm hmm. And then the screen will show like snippets of the show, mm -hmm. um, which was super cool. And like you're trying to catch Catwoman and Joker and the Penguin. And I think Mr. Freeze. I think there's a there's a variety of villains you're trying to catch. I maybe the Riddler too. And um, but yeah, so there's a lot of tasks with that. There's the Batmobile. There is a ringing bat phone that you have to answer by hitting a thing, and you're like, oh, please just hit the things. So it'll stop ringing. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I'm going to have to get down to this. See, I never know. Like, I, I, it, it looks like it's more just kind of straight pinball arcade. I, I always presume these are like a barcade kind of thing, and I've been kind of avoiding those because I, I don't know. I just I, I, I don't like bars, you know. But this, yeah. this looks like it's more of a straight arcade kind of situation. It's a coffee shop slash arcade. Oh, now, but it's, now yeah, we're so talking better. high speed. <laughs> so mm -hmm. that's why you were doing it in the morning. I get it now. Yes. So yeah. So yeah, you play. You can play all the pinball games. You buy tokens, and um, most of them take four tokens, which is a dollar, mm -hmm. I believe, in tokens. And um, but yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. Like they have a full coffee bar. They can make pretty much anything you want there, and their coffee is really really good. Mm. And they have soda stocked. Um, it's it's like the fancy like the, the good real sugar sodas mm. and <laughs> and they have like uh like pep, little pepperoni rolls and a few other snack sides and bagels so you could definitely go in there for breakfast and uh play some pinball i want to check that out um mm -hmm. that's that's awesome they have wi-fi too <laughs> Um, yeah, in, in pure coffee shop fashion, right? So uh, mm -hmm. that's good. That's cool. Is is it like um you know is there like a place to sit down and just kind of coffee shop in there too, or like is it? Is yeah, it, mm -hmm. there's a handful of tables and chairs. Okay. And uh, yeah, so you can sneak up there and just hang out and do that's some work awesome. and look out the window, watch people walk by in Lawrenceville. Well, this is now on my need to go list, especially yeah. with the with the with the lack of replay effects. Of course, they had to shut down unfortunately with the, with the COVID and everything. Um, but uh, but but. I've been, I've been, now that I'm not afraid to touch things anymore, because <laughs> I, I, where I went to the, uh, that, that superhero hall of fame in Indiana on the way back from one of my Chicago games back in September, and they have a little arcade of like, here's a Batman driving game, and here's a, an Avengers beat em up game and stuff, right? Like, they had like probably like six arcade machines there, and I'm like, this isn't happening right now. <laughs> so, you know what? You just don't want to, right? Um, mm -hmm. But uh, but now that we're not as scared and all vaxxed up, I, I you know I, I wouldn't mind uh, hitting up some arcade action there. So kick yeah, back. They have plenty, Go ahead. Plenty of wipes. Like if you want, there's Clorox wipes everywhere. There's Fantastic. hand sanitizer everywhere too. So you're definitely safe too. Yeah, they definitely it have must to. be a pretty big place to have that many arcade because you rattled off at least fifteen or twenty. It sounds like. Um, I, I bet you there's like yeah i bet you there's at least i bet you there's there, there, there's they don't take well, up a little tiny space either so here's the list on their website actually oh so, wow like there that that's the complete list you can see right there so i mean that's uh, what about 20 games eyeballing that real quick so mm -hmm. i mean that's that's not bad it's not bad yeah, some classics awesome. in there corvette Adam's although family. i wish they had a, like a you know pay once uh for hours of yeah, video game yeah. play kind of thing yeah, but also, but also, if it's a smaller thing like this, like it's nice to do that when you go to like the pinball museum one up in Aliquippa. You know, yeah. it's it's just like replay. You play once, play you know, free play kind of thing. But they have like rows of arcade yeah. games and pinball, right? But if it's just like you know, they have like twenty machines, I can I can get that being a little, you yeah, know. Yeah, that's cool. awesome. Though. So very cool. Um, but you, maybe they got some special passes or something. That'd be. <laughs> Uh, no, go check that out. It's uh, kickbackpgh.com if you want to go check that out. That is definitely on my to-go list. Uh, do -de do -de do Let's stay on the video game uh, front for a moment. Uh, there was a new one that popped up on uh, Apple Arcade, and unfortunately, I got this at the last minute changing, um, but it's called Detonation Racing, and I'm going to pull up a YouTube preview uh, that they have on over here. And uh, so it's a racing game. Um, I, I played a little bit on my iPhone uh, yesterday, but the the most fun I was having on my Apple TV. And it's I, I have an old, like the first or I don't know what generation it is. The first one that had apps, um, Apple TV. So it, it it looks like a the Xbox 360 game on there, unfortunately. Um, but it's a pretty it's a pretty great. Um, I love arcade racing. I'm a big Need for Speed fan. Over the years, like before they got like really really like you know, Fast and the Furious tune your car <laughs> uh, influenced. Um, but uh, it, it's, uh, but I also love Burnout, 
which was like all about wrecking, wrecking your cars, right? Like Burnout Paradise is still one of my favorite games. Um, so it's that arcade Need for Speed kind of playthrough. It's really like you need the drift and slipstream in order to like um, um, power up your bar. But then there's these things that get triggered. And, and already this footage looks way better than my Apple TV. I, I obviously need to up, up, update my Apple TV. Um, but uh, it, it, so so you build it up and you hit something and there'll be like a, an, an environmental destruction right like you're going through docks and there's like shipping containers that drop or or a ship on a on a uh, on a, uh, a a wench will just like fall into the track and explode and take out your competition <laughs> so it's exactly it's, it's fun it's frantic it's it's kind of all over the place i i really appreciate it um uh, definitely a lot easier to play on a controller i got one of those steel uh Nimbus uh, controllers for the Apple TV, a lot lot cooler to play on that than it was for the touch controllers. I couldn't get the hang of of the, um, of the uh, uh, yeah, there's one of the destructions happening if you're on the video. Uh, I couldn't get it, get the hang of the drifting around the corner um, with it very well uh, with the touch controls, but um, worked out pretty good. And also it took me a minute to realize I had to actually hit the gas when I was using the controller. Because I've had games like the old Sonic Racing that came out when uh, they first uh, brought out Apple Arcade. You you would go to a controller and then you still didn't have a gas button. It still just went like a lot of the Apple uh, you know phone racing games will do. Because it's one less button you have to press. You know uh, so you can do other things while you're racing the game. So uh, again, just another great game that dropped um, on Apple Arcade. It's part of that $5 subscription, or if you're, part, you're part of your uh, Apple One bundle, if you have that. So uh, so between like these things dropping, uh, what, what was the game that was excited to come in, coming soon? Like there's a new Tetris coming. Um, so there, and even just, I'm playing Angry Birds again. Why not? So <laughs> um, another good, uh, good Apple Arcade. I'm playing Apple Arcade more than I am uh, Game Pass right now, to be quite honest. So, but it's also the thing that's always on me, so it makes a lot of sense. I also started playing the cat game again. Um, not the not that cat cat game, cat Katie, where we just like feed the cats and they show up. But <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I can't bring myself to get into that one again. It was more fun when I didn't know what was going on when everything was in Japanese. So <laughs> like the like the, the mystery, we're like oh that's so this. So you can't justify it because you can actually read the instructions. Yeah, it takes half the fun out of it. Now it's just a <laughs> cat can't, Tamagotchi game, and that's that's about it. So I don't know, Kraus, you got something that uh, you don't need to nurture. Yeah, um, or maybe I you got, do. I don't I, know. And I hope I'm not breaking any uh, NDAs or anything like that. But I saw it posted enough online that I figured. Wait, wait, wait. It'd be okay you you have an article me. from Windows Central, so I think we can talk about yeah, it. Yeah, <laughs> right. So. <laughs> but um, I got to play um, <gasps> Halo, mm -hmm. uh, the the new Halo Infinite yeah. preview. I was lucky enough to be selected. Awesome. And um, I gotta tell you, it, it brought back all the right. All the right feelings and mm. all the right, you know, motions and the guns and it, very good. And my watch is going crazy. Um, but yes, so I'm here to tell you that, uh, hang on, um, it's coming, Halo's coming back and it's going to be good. So you're playing it, of course, on, on your uh, Xbox Elite Extreme, whatever the heck you got yeah, over there. And, so. and I'm playing on the Xbox One X. Okay. So, you know, that that uh, that could have something to do with it. I don't know. Mm -hmm. From everything I've read, though, online, almost everyone who's tried it seems to have a positive. Good. Yeah, you know, there, there are little things, but um, so far it's been very positive. And I'm very excited to see ha Halo coming back, you know, strong. I know that we were scared for a while there because – you know that first look we had people were like kind of mm -hmm. losing their minds over mm -hmm. it but the game looked great it played great uh the guns felt good they were all different they all you know different damage types and different um styles and things to suit up you know everybody's play style it was really good so uh kraus i'm not good at halo no not I, at all? I, I, I played i mean i played through the story yeah. But when I get, I, I, I'm just one of those that gets, I mean, I mean, the same thing. I guess any first person shooter, I'm getting my ass handed to me. Um, so, uh, so, uh, when this, uh, officially drops or maybe if I can, I don't know if I'm, it was just over the weekend they did this, right? Like this isn't an yeah. ongoing thing. Uh, cause I got game pass. I know it's going to be on there. Like, uh, we got to get a session together. You got to show me. Oh, the for sure. Yeah. And yeah. I love playing 
I, you know, I'm, I wouldn't call myself a Twitch player. You know, I'm getting up there in age, mm -hmm. you know, I'm 53 years old. So amazing. there's probably lots of young kids out there that whoop me all the time. Yeah, but I, I do enjoy playing the game. Be, that's perfectly, that's perfectly fine. If, yep. you, if you see, if you hear a horn, I think there's an angry train outside. So oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> it happens all the time. <laughs> it's even more so. Nobody knows how to deal with tracks anymore, apparently. And they're putting their car wherever the hell they want to go. I don't know. It's like the train can't go around you guys. Uh, and there's like some community stuff going out. And uh, I'll op actually open these curtains as soon as the sun goes down. Uh, but anyways, no, no, looking forward to that. And um, there's a lot of cool stuff over there. Uh, you guys got me. You guys got me. I'm blaming you and Chilla for this, by the uh -oh. way. Uh-oh. Because you know what I was playing? Some Crimson Skies. Oh, and it's so good. And you're right. It is pretty good. And the graphics look pretty decent. Like, I, I, I'm pretty sure they get there's a, there's some tweaks when you play those on, on your Xbox Ones and yes, stuff, right? Yes, they are. And I'm playing just sure. on I'm, – I played it on Cloud, and I played it on the Xbox One. Um, and in my original Xbox One, it still looked like like I, there's like this didn't look this good. <laughs> so, although it's hilarious when you go to your your animated CG stuff, uh, for the uh, in betweens, but yeah, mm. it's just such a fun little game though. It really is. I try playing Blinks, and the controls are like like feel backwards, and I oh. didn't see an easy inversion process for them. Mm -hmm. It was just like no, this is how the camera's gonna work. I'm like, oh, no game works like this anymore. So yeah. <laughs> They've um, improved this over the years. Yeah. Yes, they have. Yes, they have. I wish they could have like added a patch for the controls on it or something. But anyways, hey, you know what is, uh, you know, I, I want to say it gets finer with age because I don't think you want to leave this thing in your fridge for all that long. Our good friends at Slice on Broadway, New York City style, Yinzer made, Beach View, Carnegie, the East End, the North Hills, four great locations. These guys actually helped out. They gave us a great discount for uh, supporting us uh, on the uh uh, uh, Saturday night's uh, Sorgatron Media four-year studio party. Uh, so really appreciate them to continue supporting us that way. Uh, and, of course, also supporting a few of our, our guests and crew uh, here on Tuesday nights for uh, about 10 years now. Supporting Pittsburgh Podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza. Give a good shout-out to our friends at Slice on Broadway. So with that, let's get into the back half of the book here. Um, we still got, well, we got some video game relatively related things. First, we we're talking about, while we we're talking about uh, Game Pass and things like that, uh, the news came out. This seems like a little too, too little too late for them uh, with everything going on and all the you know, bad news you're hearing about their studios. But Google is now offering, offering a permanent uh, Chromecast and Stadia controller bundle. I do. I believe the Stadia app only became official on the newest Chromecast a couple of months ago, I think, which seems wild to me because it seems like the perfect thing. And this is the newer Chromecast that has a remote and everything. I live on this thing in my in my uh, bedroom, by the way. Like that is my go to on there, and and I. It's interchangeable with my Apple TV in my living room because it has one Apple TV, but like everything else on it, and I can put my game, my GeForce Now on it, like I right out of the box I could put my GeForce Now on it without hacking it. Like I had to uh, 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 sideload it to get Stadia running. Um, game Pass did not work very well, but um, but I don't know, Kraus. What do you think about this? You know, following this kind of streaming package uh, uh, situation. Um, I I personally haven't really done anything with. Um, Stadia and Chromecast. I do own a Chromecast. I have one connected to my TV, but I have to be honest. I'm not sure the last time I even used it. Mm -hmm. You know, um, since I made the big switch to the Apple ecosystem, it's just so much easier to use the Apple TV that I, you know, I haven't touched my uh, Chromecast. So no, absolutely. I mean, you guys sync your controller on Wi-Fi and all these kinds of things. It just seems like a bit too much here. So. Yeah. So. Well, and didn't they stop? They closed down the studio or something. I, I don't yeah. think they were saying it was done. There's but. a but but there's a lot of like bad mojo calls you're seeing there out of out of Google. I mean, classic Google stuff where things are just getting shut down because they're not going anywhere. But also, a game studio needs a few years to get going. So. Yeah. Um, right. I don't know. It, it it doesn't it doesn't look real good uh for them and 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 if you're if you're dropping 60 bucks on a game in this service i'm really worried about what that's going to look like um down the line here so i don't know 
I don't know. Uh, and they, they've never even pro they they never even came to promise. I think they're just getting to the point where this group play idea. Because remember, there was that idea that like you could pull up a stream. Like if you're on Stadia, the whole idea was it was integrated with YouTube, since it's all in the cloud. So you can just hit a button, throw it to YouTube, and then somebody can click on that and and load the game up themselves. Like either that part of the game, the game themselves, that self in that browser from YouTube. Right, oh, wow. like that was that was the promise. I don't think it's been executed yet. So, like the things that could have made it cool and unique, other than being in a browser that can be on anything, um, I don't. I just they they haven't delivered on that. I remember on live where you could just drop into people's games, right? You'd have a giant yeah. thing like like that Ozymandias uh, TV set, right? And then you can like, okay, who's playing Batman Arkham Asylum? Boom, let's drop into this guy here. And it would go full screen, and you got it, and and and, and it was a really cool kind of a. Uh, I mean, that was the that was the 1.0 of this kind of situation. I can't remember who bought that. Was it Microsoft? Maybe. I know guy kind of got bought by by PlayStation. That's how they do their classics. But uh, Katie, you got any thoughts on this one? I I, I know I, you know you, you got your Switch. I know you're good to go. But I mean, <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, I'm good with my Switch. I'm good. <laughs> eventually I'll, I'll fan out to something else but i'm good for right now on my switch <laughs> it's only a hundred bucks for no console <laughs> basically so well you know but that's really something you have to think about mm -hmm. okay yeah you're gonna spend a hundred dollars but what do you have when the hundred dollars is done yeah yeah uh, yeah exactly so i i don't know it's it, 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 you get a bunch of games. It's got a game pass kind of thing. It's actually really nice. I really like the selection of games, but it's just like, hey, I got two game passes, and these are half of them are the same games. Right. So, um, like those kinds of things. But I mean, if you're somebody who has no console and wants to jump into some of these things, or I don't know, maybe something happened and you like your Xbox One finally bit the dust, and you're like, oh, I don't want to get a new Xbox. So, well, I can get on board, buy a controller. Actually, technically, you could connect the controller to a browser on a computer, a, an Xbox controller, and play... You don't need this stuff to start playing Stadia, right? This is the nice-to-have, preferred way to do it on your TV. But you can just load up oh, anything right, with a browser. you just need a Chrome browser, right? Yeah, you need a Chrome browser. You, put a, you connect the controller, you're, you're good to go. So that, that, the, the controller is specialized because it, it gets on Wi-Fi. It's supposed to be, quote, less latency, and you can play it on your TV with your Chromecast. But I don't know. Oh, boy. Um, what is this? I like being a podcast consumer so much I became a podcaster myself, says Dave <laughs> out there. Oh, that was when you were talking about him subscribing, uh, uh, yes. being a, a, a supporter. Absolutely, absolutely. And uh, MK, MK Gee out there. Mickey? I don't know. Mike. Mike, 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 Mike yeah. Gee. Okay. Uh, he says, Apple tags are highly insecure. Yeah, he's a he's a security guy so you know you never trust those security guys they don't they, <laughs> they, they, they don't they, they don't think anything secure enough you know no those are nothing he'll secure laugh enough. at me now that i listen, said that so listen, i said that if somebody his, targets his me benefit. i'm screwed and i know that so i'm not going into that but also I don't know. uh but i i there is i i feel like there is a security as anything else apple so i'm going with it oh no what's happening Nothing. Messages. I just, I just know he's gonna make fun of me. Here we go. <laughs> uh, and Amanda has used two out of her four tags. I'm like, I say, I'm on the second batch, so I'm about to buy a third. To be quite honest. <laughs> so, what else can we Apple? What else can we load Jack here in the studio? Um, <laughs> what else do we got here? Uh, do 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 do. We're gonna roll down a little bit. Katie, I see Apple Ma Apple Maps has an update. Ooh, Google. 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 Google Maps, Maps on Sorry. iOS. Yeah. Uh, yes. I crossed the streams apparently. Oh, you're fine. You're fine. See, um, I'm just a fan of Google Maps much more than Apple Maps. That's I'm like, no, no, Google, Google. <laughs> uh, so one of the updates is well, there's a couple, a few things with this update. There's going to be live location sharing in the iMessage app. Oh, okay. A, a traffic widget for our home screen mm -hmm. Ooh, and dark mode, which is pretty exciting. Cause I don't know if you, you know, driving at night with Google maps is kind of like sometimes a little bright mm -hmm. <laughs> than what you need, but yeah. So you can, uh, you can share with your certain friends, like your ETAs, um, which maybe, um, 
this might be a thing instead of using ways but because mm-hmm. currently I, I i'm a big fan of ways yeah i, I love the sharing on that I, we've also done the location sharing with uh apple or uh facebook messages um because mm-hmm. they'll do that too in app so no good to have another option no i'm with you on the on the dark mode thing like i love that ways as soon as like sunset hits it goes dark um actually if you're riding in some cars i noticed this i would go into a tunnel and (laughs) it would detect the light just like it does for like the dashboard and everything uh for the lights and it'll go in dark mode when you're in a tunnel or sometimes or sometimes just under a long bridge like in some of the cities i've been in lately so <laughs> it's it's great like 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 going into chicago it's it's there's a lot of just kind of wide bridges you go under in the in on the on the freeway and it'll just like you know it, it'll be like a 2 second thing and it'll go dark for that 2 seconds and come back <laughs> so um <laughs> but that, that's with car play and stuff and i think just you know probably specific cars have it hooked up like that but see so. that's what i was just thinking sorg because I thought I already had dark mode because I I'm a Google Maps guy that I don't use ways, although it's funny because I put a story about ways in, in the rundown and they tag, are kind of the same thing. So, but I you know I use Google Maps and I thought mine went dark in the evening already, but I use dark mode, but it is light during the day and dark in the evening, so maybe that's different. I don't know, but. Um, Maybe it'll be are, dark all the time. Are you using it on a CarPlay or just in the app on on a on a? Stand? No, I'm on a CarPlay. I'm okay. on yeah. Yeah, I, I think I think you just get some more modes on okay. there that way. So um, no, you're good. Yeah. 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 <laughs> no, that's cool though. So Apple Maps got iOS. I, the live location is going to be handy, um, and uh, the home screen widget. Like it, it seems like too many. Like there was an uh, uh, Amazon <clears throat> Echo uh, button, but it's just like I use. I actually am a big fan of having the uh, Google one at the top of my screen because I know I know they just kind of load the app, but they do load the app into specific things. If I want to incognito, that's the I'm I'm searching for something weird that I don't want to come up in ads. Uh, <laughs> Katie, you probably needed this a lot when you worked for a haunted house. Uh, <laughs> So, oh, yeah. you know, and your lens and your voice search and everything like I, like I use this all the time. Um, but uh, but it will be, be, you know, in the kind of live information kind of idea, kind of like the idea uh, the idea of it. I even have I found this wise has an, uh, one now where uh, you got your latest events from your wise camera. So which is all just me walking around the studio. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> also, if you put your Google Home next to your wise camera, and you have some very specific music playing, you're going to get a CEO alarm uh, notification on your Wise if you have that activated. Just putting that out there. Uh, what else we got here? Uh, stay on the Google front, uh, Kraus. Actually, no, let's stay on the Maps since you did mention just now your uh, your uh, Waze story. Yeah, because, because I was talking about Halo, I thought this was kind of cool that Waze is adding Master Chief mm. from Halo so you can get directions from the master chief oh it's gonna be his voice you're driving around in ways oh, i thought that I am, would be qu- quite interesting i am in is it there yeah uh, it's what they're saying yeah okay all right i'm installing this now we're gonna go to a different story <laughs> while i'm uh, i'm loading this up on my ways because uh, i am i am all about these man i love when the sleepy hollow guy uh the, you know the guy from like the civil the the revolutionary war uh was was on there and he would like your carriage has arrived uh <laughs> so i've done the cars ones but like here in owen wilson so and take a left turn ka-chow ka-chow like a million times was just a little too much for me voice and sound let's see what we got here Did input language voice t- voice typing no i don't want voice typing hold on how easy is this thing play sound via oh there it is let's see right now we have jane She's very sassy. And you said Master Chief is under like M for Master Chief or Oh, this gets weird. They should have special ones on here, right? Yeah, let's see. Oh, here, English Master Chief. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Let's see what this experience is like. Oh, you can set your car icon as the uh, warthog oh, or as ghost. Oh yeah. The ghost. Okay. Setting my car, <laughs> setting my car is the warthog. This there is happening. Though it has been asked me if I was a dog or cat person recently. Um, oh, there's a mood. 
I can be the master chief in my mood. Uh-oh, my battery's running low. I forgot to plug this cord in. Oh, no. Let's not lose our Zoom people. <laughs> we, had a, we had an issue yeah, last night, go. so we Bye. moved some laptops <laughs> around. So this plug is going to make sure we don't lose our friends over here. Uh, let's see. While I'm plugging that guy in, uh, let's, let's set... Uh, Oh, oh no. Everything's gone wrong. Everything's gone wrong. You know, while we're killing time, can I just say, does anybody else find Siri a little just, I don't know. I just like Google so Un much Unuseful? Un or what? <laughs> a voice assistant. I mean, you're not I, wrong. I mean, it, it, but... I mean, it does the things that I need it to do because it the, the 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 good the the best voice assistant is the one that can answer you. No, and you're right. I right? completely agree with that. Like being able to get in my car, and I've been spoiled by the car plays. I get in my car and I have my phone in my pocket, and I do the thing, and I have to say, you know, Bluetooth audio because that's how the the sync works in my car, right? Because it's from like 2012. And it doesn't like auto kick into the Bluetooth and, and load it up. Okay. Uh, so so I do that. Say hey hey Bluetooth audio goes to that. And then I've just started saying like in the last couple of days, hey S, play some music. The phone's still in my pocket. I got my watch on my wrist, and it knows to talk to the phone, mm -hmm. which is already on Bluetooth, and does that. And it pulls up whatever music, and I just go from there. Um, that's what I pay for Apple One for to make sure that works. Um, I know it does work with the uh, the uh, other stuff, but still, no. That's I just said. Like you're my ride. Hope you don't mind a few bumps along the way, and I'm not talking about potholes. Let's go. Oh, that's great. That's it. That's it. <laughs> that is my mode. Okay. That's great. Yeah. That is happening. Okay, maybe I will have to try ways. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> Katie, I don't know. Do you play Halo? Oh, I did way back. Okay, so I this, Halo. this will bring some <laughs> memories back. <laughs> Are you ready for an alpha male to tell you where to go? <laughs> Absolutely. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's basically what it is. Yeah, pretty much. Like the most macho alpha male in a futuristic tech suit soldier telling you where to go. So, oh boy. <laughs> I'll be yelling at it a lot, like shut up. You son of a <laughs> I don't care. I, You're I don't... not the boss of me. <laughs> Make first U turn. I'm like, no, that's not a thing in PA. Stop telling me to do it. Oh yeah, yeah. Well you could be in trouble sometimes. And I'm looking at these signs, I'm like, Are you sure? <laughs> so, yeah. What else we got going on here? <laughs> Officer Ways made me do it. Officer Ways made me do it. I don't think it's going to fly. Google Pixel 6 seemed to come out of nowhere. Yes, it did come out of nowhere. And they're going to have their own chip, the Tensor chip. Everybody wants their own Everybody's chip. Everybody's getting on the chip. Everybody bandwagon. wants to be like Apple. Yeah. Do we know anything about this chip? Um, They haven't told a whole lot. But from what people have said, they are pretty excited about. Um, They've teased that there's going to be. If you, you know, because the good the Pixel line of phones has always had a very spectacular camera, mm -hmm. and they do a lot of their photography magic happens what they call computational, you know, photography. So people are very excited to see with this quote unquote tensor chip that they think that computational photography is going to come to the video side, which is something that mm. has been a little lacking in the Pixel line of phones. Mm -hmm. So it'll be interesting to see what happens with that. Um, you know, I was a big fan. I had the Pixel 2 XL for many, many years and carried it. That was my daily driver. And actually, I left that to go to the um, the uh, iPhone. So, um, but so I've always been a fan of their devices and it'll be interesting to see what they come up with. And this is the first time that they're going to have a, you know, pixel was always that middle of the road kind of device. Mm -hmm. You know, they weren't really shooting for the stars, so to speak, but this time they're actually going to have a, a pro version of the phone. So it'll be interesting to see what comes with that. Sounds good. Sounds good. Excellent. Uh, I'm out of. I'm out of the. Cert. Listen, I got my Nexus Seven. I booted that thing up today. 
it still works. <laughs> it's still, like Google. Yeah, you know what? Those work, and, and I'd like to do a public service announcement for all those uh, Android folks out there. Hmm. Patches. If you got a device and it stopped getting patches, mm -hmm. be careful on what you're putting on that device. Mm, that's a good point. I, so I, I don't even know if the that Nexus Seven still gets them. Is this running it like probably four, doesn't. five, six yeah. at this point? Uh, so, so uh, I got a, I got that, and I got a, a, a Samsung like S eight, S nine, some S eight, I think it is. That should still be good. So, so yeah, that, that goes along with this idea, um, this other story that I threw in here. That's probably along your lines. Uh, if you do have an old device, Google is actually going to not let you sign in on those devices very soon, uh, in September twenty seventh, due to those very security concerns. Right? They're cut. There, it's a, a rare instance of Google completely cutting off support. And according to this, is this is uh, uh, the company's app, uh, the company's devices running Android two point three point seven or lower from uh, September twenty seventh. You can still sign in on the web, but you'll need to update uh, to at least a tablet, tablet only Android three or uh, ideally a Android four, if you want to avoid major hassles while checking Gmail or navigating Google Maps. According to Engadget. That's so. incredible that people are actually still using devices. I, 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 somebody out there still has them, right? I mean, no, you're right. I mean, somebody out there that just isn't like I've seen my I've seen family members with like they got whatever uh, uh, Walmart smart you know whatever that 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 phone is, and I'm just like look at it and be like, well, this is an old Google phone, <laughs> you know. Whenever I saw it, you know. So um, no, it's uh, it makes sense, you know. It makes sense. There's only so much you can do with some of those old devices. I think I got a tablet that runs the old one, so I need to go double check it. Um, not that I'm doing anything with it. It was just kind of a fun old Verizon tablet that I was given. You know what? That's the thing. If you're playing games on that phone, on that device, you know, and you don't have a whole lot of your own personal data in there, but if you're doing your banking on a on an older device like that, <laughs> like maybe you shouldn't. Maybe you should stop. Yeah, I would highly <laughs> recommend that you do not do yes. that because. If anybody you know, knows, and everybody knows about banking and technology, it's our uh, co-host here on the uh, Awesome Cast. Yeah. So I, I just remember, you know, we're not just trying to safeguard the bank's information; we're trying to safeguard your own information too. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And, and I get it; phones are expensive. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, is when you buy a new phone, you should try to buy the newest phone possible, because especially in the Google world, if you're an Android person. You know, usually when a phone is released from the release date, Google will guarantee or the manufacturer will guarantee at least two years of patches. So that means so if you bought a buy a phone that's already been out for a year, that means you'll get one year mm -hmm. guaranteed. Mm -hmm you know os updates on that device you know that's and that is much. where i got i have to give it to ios because you know mm -hmm. if, if you have a device that runs ios 14 then you're getting every patch every month until it no longer you know until ios 14 is no longer supported this thing after, this thing is a six that, all thing all you know bets are off this thing but, is a 6s over my shoulder right and still getting updates that we can run something like this camera software that works in our system I mean, yeah. I mean, between that and you know what, and I'm okay, Kraus. Don't worry about me and my gaming, okay? Because we're yeah. gonna be okay. Because I can play my Monster Madness over on Blue Stacks on my laptop now, and I'm there good go. to go. Okay, I'm good to go. Just like Perkins in 1999 back home in Greenville, I am good to go. Uh, so, <laughs> anyways. Uh, so that was your security announcement for this. Yeah, week. sorry. I just got. Yeah, I every once in a while I have to talk about that kind of stuff. Uh, it's important. Uh, meanwhile, uh, sorry, I just had a cancellation tonight. Uh, meanwhile, I have yet to. Uh, I don't think I've yet to update any of my iOS devices from the zero day hack. Also, a thing I probably shouldn't admit. Let's go ahead and take care of that. <laughs> yeah, you should go so ahead and take care of that. We're just now. gonna we're just gonna start some updates here to end awesome cast and uh, see where it goes from here. Uh, so. <laughs> Katie, are you updated over there? She's still Let's with not us. talk about it. Let's not talk about that. <laughs> oh no! Oh, oh no. 
Christ. Oh, no. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, no. Kraus is shaming us. Shame. Shame. It's easy for us, too. Come on. So, um, oh, I want to share that. Okay. Anyways, what else we got here? Uh, any other stories that I'm missing? Um, there's Otterbox came out with a game, uh, clip like, you know, really? for a little. Uh, what was our game clip? Fourteen bucks. <laughs> yeah, it was like the. So, uh, I got the new controller. It's not here. I got the new Xbox One X style controller. Yeah. Um, and for for my mobile gaming um basically and uh it and the clip doesn't fit it <laughs> it doesn't fit it's too big it's like it's too wide in the middle and, and the standard clip that, that worked on the the xbox one um uh controllers don't work on it so really I, mine works so i need I, one i'm looking for it now i don't know where it is the yeah, but, but uh but so you're talking about otterbox has a new one yeah otterbox has a new one and it's like <gasps> got magnets and the whole nine yards uh, but it's i don't like have this. a I, but I don't have a 12, so that doesn't uh, – yeah. only works with the iPhone 12 series. Okay. All right. I mean, you know, when I upgrade, I'll keep an eye on it. But, that, I mean, that's cool. That's really cool, actually. <laughs> so, but the, Well, people that like the OtterBox cases, you know. I do, yeah. This is a great option for them, although oh. it is way twice the price. It's $40. Of what, of yeah. what it costs for um, – But magnets, man. Have. Magnets. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're paying for that magnet there yeah. so geez yeah I, I i keep i keep i keep almost just jumping on the the 12 pro i'm like no wait till september wait till september then you're going to get on a waiting list because they're shorted for everything so wait till september uh so <laughs> um anyways um posting something before i forget about it um and i run my updates okay where were we on the stories here uh we can you tell me about the r2d2 oh yes thank you that's definitely what i wanted to bring up and and it answered one of the questions that i think you may have even asked early on or maybe i mean it was carmen that was um so they are gonna put out an r2d2 tamagotchi um Ooh. what so. year is it what <laughs> <laughs> did i black uh, out or something is now a Tamagotchi you'll forget about. Uh, R2 detail. They got the they got the deep blue and the uh, the uh, classic style there. Okay, all right. So you got your R2 D2. It's uh, Disney and Bandai have uh, teamed up to do this. It's still egg shaped uh, if you're not seeing the picture and just you know styled like an R2 D2. And you got a little digital R2 D2 hanging out there. Um, you do not. So you'll feed it and you it does not poop. Just want to make clear your R2 unit will not poop, but it does get <laughs> dusty. You will have to dust it, apparently. So there you go. <laughs> Here, I thought it was going to be like, you got to add oil or something, you know? I think it's something like that. There are 19 <laughs> skills for R2 to learn according to Engadget. Uh, you'll, you have to keep them charged and clean. Um, do, 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 do. Uh, nine mini games you can play with them, including firefighting and Star Wars staple. Uh, oh, you can play hollow chess with him. That's cool. Uh, and if you don't keep them happy, some Jawas might arrive and take them away. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, so, so there you go. Uh, do, 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 do. It was going to be released. Pre-orders opened actually uh, August 3rd today at midnight. So I, I guess it already happened. And they'll arrive November 11th. Um, and there was an update to clarify that he does not poop and instead accumulates dust, apparently to this article. <laughs> so what is the price on these things? They can't be that much. I mean, they might be specialized. Eastern August 3rd. Let's see if they got a link through to this. Nineteen ninety nine. you can get it right now. There you go. Go sign up for it. Pre-order now. <laughs> R2-D2 Tamagotchi. And you can get the two different styles, too. So I don't know. There's no R two D two doo doo. Oh, it's a hologram. There's a classic, and then there's the hologram edition. Ooh. Okay, there you go. So that's on Amazon actually. That you can get that. Uh, it's just a pre order for November 11th. So there you go. Hop on that if you need your Tamag your R two D two Tamagotchi, Katie. Oh, I have another. <laughs> I have another video game for you actually. I don't know Ooh. if you saw that in the in the slot right above it. So, how about a cat simulator? Ooh, okay. I'd like that. 
There's actually one I downloaded a while ago that that we haven't played too much with. Uh, that was like a demo. I don't know if they ever even released it. But there is a cat simulator called Stray heading to PlayStation and PC in early 2022. Um, so it's fun because it the cat physics look look pretty good on this thing, first of all. But you get into <laughs> it, and then eventually this cat. Um, gets a backpack and a robot friend, <laughs> and he's like solving puzzles too. Oh, then you know, he's just drinking water out of the fridge. Um, so, are you playing as the the cat? Yes, you are the cat, knocking okay. things down, breaking the glass, things like that. And then eventually, it gets into it gets a little sci-fi here in a little bit, where you get your little robot. You see, he's got a little backpack, and then, cute. Uh, and now he's using a vending machine. That the, uh, the 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 keypad is suspiciously low on that, and then you got a little, you got a little floating robot buddy that's going to help you with tasks. <laughs> so I want to play this game like, really bad. So it looks like it'd be worthwhile. Yeah, really. CRTs. What's that? Yeah, there's CRTs. Yeah, he's scratching the couch. The cat's he's, scratching the couch. The cat's scratching the couch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's it's got a weird um like semi futuristic. Like I don't know if these are people or robots with like the monitor heads on them, so um, it's got a it's 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 got a really interesting sci-fi style to it, on top of just being a cat. <laughs> so, but uh, no, it looks like fun. It's called Strays, and again, I'll be on PlayStation uh, and PC in early 2022. I think that's a nice place to end of the show. Uh, so, Katie, you're looking forward to your yeah. cat game. Cat game. Uh, yes, I like the cat games. Uh, I just was laughing because my friend just got me a pet plate. <laughs> <laughs> it's a cat. It's a, it's a cat <laughs> on a plate. Cat plate. It'll go out with the cat game when it comes Jesus. out in 2022. <laughs> Is that tide Which over? sounds so far away. I like, know, when you right? Say 2022, it's like years in the future. I'm like, no, it's next year. Yeah, we're, we're about halfway there, aren't we? So, mm -hmm. um, well. Katie, thank you for joining us once again. Of course, uh, where can people find your your pinball picks and such? <laughs> Kate Marie PGH on Instagram. Uh, just Katie do this on Facebook and Kate Utters on Twitter. And I will play pinball with anyone and you can destroy me. And it's really funny. But I'll make my own sounds. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, Ron Krause joining us back in the Pittsburgh area, of course. We didn't talk about the scooters. We want to talk about that oh, for a minute. We didn't talk about scooters. What's so, about scooters? Okay, let's talk about scooters one moment here before on our way out the door. So, so one, there's scooters in town. Uh, uh, there was one of those. You know, we found, talk about this with other towns, but we finally got one called Spin. And then on top of that, it's all it's all scooters all the time here apparently, because uh, uh, Brian Crawford from PGHMuseums.org uh, stopped in today with his new scooter, and uh, and and what's okay. So first of all, like I understand the idea, you need the app to play like the, the like the spin ones where you kind of rent them for a period and everything like that. It's only in the city, um, but he the one that he got, and I'll pull it up here in a moment. In order to operate his scooter, you need the app on your phone, his own owned scooter. Wow, is that like a security thing? I guess I it, I'm like, but what all does it do? It's an electric scooter. Uh, he just got it's uh eight it, it goes up to 18 miles per hour and can climb hills up to 20 percent grade that's helpful around here uh, that means I can climb uh, all but seven hills in Pittsburgh including most streets you'd see in Peach View <laughs> so he's literally in the worst neighborhood to use the scooter <laughs> so um, the scooter allegedly has self-healing tires and can do uh, uh, 25 miles an hour I don't know what I don't know what that sound was. I don't know. Maybe you guys got it. Maybe you didn't. Uh, anyways, um, but uh, it is uh, do, 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 Segway Nine Bot is is what it's called. So if you want to look that up, the uh, Segway Nine Nine Bot. Um, but we're also in that. So we like I said, we have the scooters here, and already like I pulled up the app. If you download an app called Spin for scooters, um, you can locate them. And I've seen this in the other, I think I've, Lyft had this in Nashville, I think, and I was able to pull up the Lyft app and see where all the scooters were. I used a, uh, I used a, a, a uh, phone, uh, I'm sorry, a, a, a bicycle rental thing uh, when I was in the Dallas area one time. And you can see 
Um, let's see if we can uh, pull up over over the shoulder here. Um, nope, we're frozen. That's what that sound was. That was that was my phone dying. Um, but you can see there are uh, maybe you can see there are three scooters here around around me <laughs> that they can go to, and I think it tells you it tells you the battery charge of the scooter. And uh, you can reserve it a dollar to start, thirty nine cents a minute plus taxes and fees, and then it'll tell you like how to get to the scooter. Like in this instance, this scooter is was left up the street a couple of blocks, so I'd have to walk a little bit to get it. Uh, and you just kind of go from there and decide you want to go for a ride. And they're little electric scooters, and um, there's one on a back street over here behind us right now. Because I mean, you, there's no rack to designated rack to put these. You basically like I got to my place, and I'm just going to leave it here. And uh, presumably, since they need charged, I don't think they're solar. I think somebody's going to come around every day and go scoop them all up and take them back and get them charged and serviced and stuff. And and they'll probably just cycle through these kinds of things. So I don't know. It's, it's cool that we got it. And we we don't usually get we don't have the healthy ride bikes or anything in this neighborhood. The side of uh, uh it's all the middle of the city for the most part. Uh, but uh, you know we're kind of like out here on the you know, south line of, of uh, Pittsburgh. Uh, also, um, s supposedly from talking with uh, Brian about these, uh, you can't leave the city because these are illegal everywhere in PA except for in Pittsburgh. Uh, and apparently, like, it's not even, hasn't even been legalized for Philly, and they've been trying for this for a while. But there was some, something about only secondary cities, which is us, can can have these sorry philly i guess but we're, it's a pilot program of sorts but apparently if you left the line so if you go a mile down the road here to the pittsburgh line and try to go into dormont the the the, the scooter will probably stop <laughs> oh wow so, because it is illegal out there so and also you can't take it on state roads it, it's actually interesting because if you go through here and uh you you and look through the map like schools and parks there's a big x and say don't scoot here um kind of situation so um for whatever reason or illegal or, or whatever the case may be so it's interesting very very interesting so with that i don't know you guys have anything else about scooters we talked about it a couple of weeks ago but um but they're here and there's definitely i saw kids like i, like I saw kids scooting around uh in front of the iga here when i was uh leaving earlier uh to go get uh you know sustenance uh, from Duncan and such, but um, but yeah, so it'll be in, it'll be interesting to see see how those goes if there's any problems that arise. And, and they cities. must be popular because this morning when I walked past the T station, there was probably seven or eight of them, nice, neat mm -hmm. row. Mm -hmm. And when I came back through to grab my bus on the way home, there was one. Yeah, well, yeah. Think about so it. Somebody's riding them. Think about that. Like you, you get you get off the train, and instead of walking that mile home. You go hop on a scooter and you take that last mile. That's what they're meant for, I think, for the most part, is that kind of last mile idea. Um, that's one of the things that's been lacking a lot uh, when it comes to especially um, public transit, I believe, in the Pittsburgh area, is that last mile. You know, yeah. hey, the bus will get you to this neighborhood, but you're on the other side of the neighborhood. Figure it out. Yeah, so, right. You got to figure mm -hmm. out how to get, you're going to get that part. Yep. That's where the bikes come in. That's where the, the scooters come in. Um, that's where even I've seen, I, I, when I was, I would give people a ride to or from, uh, the bus terminal. Um, the one, like, I think it was in Wilkinsburg a lot because people would get out there, but they out, then they had to cross the, like the entirety of Wilkinsburg or the next neighborhood over to get to it. Right. So, you know, mom with a couple kids ain't going to do that, <laughs> you know? So, so we're picking them up on, on Uber and Lyft and, you know, and, and that's, that takes care of the last mile. That's an expensive last mile too. To do to do it that way, but no, whatever you do, what you have to do, I guess. So now, Kraus, we can bid you adieu and close the show. <laughs> yep, uh, Crazy Kraus on Twitter and Ron Kraus on Facebook. Is this the last week of your tour of duty? Is Chilla coming back next week? Yes, uh, the can, the real Chilla it the, will be the back real next Chilla week. from Studio C from Studio K to C. Um, but of course the door is always open. If you have anything you want to chat with us next week, more than welcome. If you're sick of us, you can take a break as well. Uh, no problem, anytime. So <laughs> if he's like, I'm back home and going to do some scooting on Tuesdays now, that's fine too. So, 
Yeah, that's right. I'm going to break out the spin app and, and go for a spin, uh, literally. I'm just always afraid I'm going to wreck these damn things. So and That's me, too. I don't want to break anything. <laughs> Although I was talking to somebody when I was in Florida. I was like, I'm going to get me a Vespa because I watched Luca, and it was it was wonderful. It makes me want a Vespa now. Um, Luca's, Luca's the Pixar film over on Disney uh, that launched last week or last month. And uh, I'm going to get a Vespa, but I want to put a big Harley Davidson decal on the side in homage <laughs> to my biker father. Um, because I never had, I never had the balls to get a motorcycle, but maybe I'd be able to cut it on a Vespa, but I don't know. We'll see. Uh, or I'll just get scooting around on these things. This is my practice scooter. They're, they're literally all around me. Somebody's going to park one right in front of the studio and I'm just going to go. Well, you know, on the spin app, the supposedly they have bikes too. I don't oh, know do if they, they have any in Pittsburgh, but they do have bikes. Oh, probably in other places. I think our, our, I mean, our biking situation, I think is just taken by another provider. So. But I'm okay. sure they just kind of fill fill as needed. So with that, thank you guys so much. It's been a fun, fun show. And thank you everybody that uh, that dropped in the chat room. Amanda, Dave, was that Mike is the other gentleman in there? Mike. Uh, that, uh, that we've offended with our security, um, uh, nonchalant security concerns. <laughs> I'm sure. Uh, we'll see you guys next, team, next time. You've been our awesome audience. Have an awesome week. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.